What's up gamers, my name is Shepard and welcome to Ancestors the Humankind Odyssey. This is a pretty awesome game and I'm going to show you guys how to play it. But first I'm going to start a new lineage and we obviously have to give it a name. So this is going to be like your family tree or something. So let's go with usual. There we go. Shepard and continue. Right, so you have different um, game modes. I've already started the game, obviously, because I'm about to do a tutorial for you guys how to play the game. So, this is pretty cool. First time surviving custom. I haven't seen this yet. This is a first for me. So, but anyways, usually the only option you would have at the beginning of the game would be first time. So, there you go. Okay, and then you can decide on the level of um, player help. We are going to go for total. And, yeah. It, um... Yeah, total doesn't really mean much anyways. Okay, so lineage name, game mode, settlement, gender, and clan size. Okay, there we go. We are going to start the game. We're going to jump right into it. Okay, so no doubt by now, if you're at all interested in the game, you've probably seen the trailer and cinematics and stuff already, but unfortunately, we are going to sit through it anyway. Okay. It's a really cool game. I, I, I actually kind of like it. I didn't expect to like it as much as I do but it's actually pretty cool and I've put a couple of hours into it um, obviously it didn't make a huge amount of progress because the game is really hard it's really difficult to figure out what to do and um, it's it's really it's really cool because you have to figure out what to do there's no specific goal there's no there is actually no tutorial or at least not much of a tutorial so you don't really know what to do, where to go, what the goal is, but that's kind of what I like because it's a lot like the first time I played Ark Survival. You also don't know what to do and where to go and so on and so forth, so you gotta figure it out on your own. You know, make your own, make your own way, carve your own destiny or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so yeah. Use your body, senses, mind, and voice to guide your voyage. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You have different senses: hearing, smell, and then your intellect and all that. But we're gonna get we're gonna get to that in a moment. As soon as we can get through all this, divide the elements, teach your family, and yeah, there the game states it. Good luck. We will not help you much. So yeah, you gotta you gotta figure it out for yourself. And um, it's really cool because. The hut, even the hut, it isn't, there's not a lot of info on the hut. Honestly. Um, you have this one little circle with all of your life information on it. Your, your stamina, your life expectancy, we'll, we'll get to the explanation of all that in a moment, but yeah, it, it's pretty cool. The hut really doesn't show much. You have to use your intellect, you have to smell stuff and hear stuff, you know, listen to things. You have to inspect everything. You gotta inspect everything and check it out and you have to, you have to try things. And if I'm not mistaken at some point, maybe they did already and I just missed it while talking. But um, the best way to experience the game is with a controller. And they also uh, suggest that you play the game with headphones. The reason for that is that there are a lot of things you have to listen for. You have to carefully listen to sounds in the environment. And that especially becomes very important during crafting. In crafting especially, it's very important. Because there are small you know, little chime sounds and small details things you have to pay attention to. Otherwise, your crafting is going to be a mess. You're going to keep breaking things instead of successfully crafting anything. So, but we're going to get to all that in a moment. I'm actually getting really excited to start over and, you know, just do all of this again because I've learned so much. And, um, it's, yeah, I've actually, I've actually learned so much and it's, it's cool. Um, it, this is gonna be a lot better than than the first time. Yeah. 
That's what you get for, getting, for, for being selfish and not sharing. Okay, so here we go. There we are. And we are going to start playing. Okay, so very important. Read all of the text that comes on screen. Read it as fast as you can. Okay, you have to read it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with you through all of this, so right now please do not read it. I'll, I already know what's going on here, so... Okay, your intelligence. Okay. Okay, now you get these little, all these little icons. Like an icon over there, and an icon over there, and... So, if you go into intelligence, you can, you can stand up, which is very important. You keep that in mind. That's actually, the game does not tell you that, but standing up during, uh, during in intelligence is actually really, it's important. Okay, so you can focus on things and identify them. So there's a hiding spot over there, and then you can hold Y again, and then release, and you'll remember it. And then it'll it'll pop up on your on your display, on your HUD. Okay, and then if you want to go out of that, you simply just move with your left stick. I'm playing with an Xbox controller, so that might make it easier. We have to get to a hiding spot. I don't think there's another one close by. Now all of these. All of these spectral hyenas and crap, they're, they're not real at the moment, they're, they're not real, it's your fear of the unknown. That, that's the thing. And we're gonna, we're gonna go into, we're gonna go into detail on, detail on that a, a little bit later. We're gonna go into more detail. Okay, so this is all very confusing, it's dark, it's, you don't know what to do, you don't know where to go, you don't get the controls. There's no HUD, you have no idea what to do. So, that is just the important thing at first. Uh, use your intelligence and look for the closest hiding spot. And we're gonna hide in there. Okay, so here we go. Hiding spot and we hide. Alright. Okay. Now you're gonna be transferred to an adult. And there we go. Find the lost child of your clan. Right. As you can see, the game, the game's graphics is pretty cool. I like this. It's awesome. Okay. All right now, you'll hear the little one screaming the whole time. It is a little bit confusing as you get closer because it doesn't always sound like you're getting closer to it. But anyways, okay. So before we, before we get to the little one, actually, I'm gonna take you over over all the the HUD details okay yeah the swinging thing tree branches and stuff and trees tree stumps and stuff like that is all is automatically done when you jump but when you want to grab leaves and vines and stuff like that you gotta hold your action button yeah you gotta hold your action button okay so the little one is in here you have to comfort him before he comes out. Okay, quick overview of the HUD. Left bottom corner is your dopamine levels and your awareness. That's a little I, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, the right hand side corner at the bottom is... I think the... like an evolution stage or something, or your intellectual stage. As you start unlocking stuff, you'll, you'll get more of that. And then the little green circle here in the middle, you're gonna see that change a lot. Uh, it's gonna get a... A red edge at some point and there's gonna be a yellowish color in it at some point so we're, but we're gonna get to all that okay there's a lot of rhythm in this game there is a lot of rhythm crafting tools and like these calls these comforting calls and stuff there's a lot of there's really a lot of rhythm to the whole thing. You have to push buttons in, in rhythm you know, to, to succeed at something. Okay, so, right, we got through that. Let's go into, okay, let's stand up. Remember to always stand up. There's, there's a reason for that. There is a reason for that. Okay, there we go. We focus, we identify it, current clan settlement, that is where we want to go. Ok, 
Okay, so we have to get back there. Okay, so we are gonna climb trees. Climbing trees doesn't use as much stamina as it does climbing a rocky surface. Okay, now, note the circle. The circle right in the middle of the bottom. Let me just get rid of that. There we go. Okay. You see the the yellowish circle? That's actually the edge that is growing larger and larger and the green is kind of going away. Okay, so the green circle is based upon your health. The orange one, or the, the, the yellow one, that is actually your stamina level. Okay, and then the red on the outside is your life expectancy. The bigger that thing goes, the deeper you are in trouble. But that is maintained or increased by living a healthy lifestyle. Uh, sleeping enough, drinking enough water, eating enough, and so on and so forth. Okay, so let's go to intellect. Okay, you focus on that. Notice the black cloud. That is something that you do not know yet. So, when you enter an area where there's too many unknown things that you haven't identified yet, or uh, let's call it a new area, then you're going to be overcome by fear of the unknown. And then you have to start identifying stuff as fast as possible so you don't run out of dopamine and go hysteric and die. Okay, I know because it has happened to me. Okay, this thing is not yet identified, so we have to go, we have to go identify it. And it's going to be the same with that one. And then we've got food sources. I think those those are kind of like thorny trees. Can't identify those yet. There's also something I don't know what that is, but we'll get to that. Okay, so now we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna grab it, and we are going to inspect it. And it will be discovered. See, and as you explore certain explore certain things or discover things, then you are going to notice that your neurons are growing and you're, you're becoming more intelligent. Okay, so you gotta figure this stuff out. That is the secret to this game, figuring stuff out. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop the branch quickly. Um, right button is gonna drop it. We do not have the intelligence to to switch hands yet, but we are going to get to that, because that is where your crafting is going to come in. Okay, so, inspect everything. Inspect everything. For the first time, or the second time, or something, that you that you find something, inspect it. Just to make sure. You can't maybe score something out of it. Okay, and you will notice the little green circle down there. It grows again when you eat, or drink, or something like that. Okay, let's take the, the branch with us. As far as I remember, we can... Uh, oh crap. Okay, there we go. And we are back at the clan settlement. Alright, baby is safely returned. And everybody's monkeying about. Okay, everybody's going ape. Okay, sweet. All good. All good. Okay, they're really mad about something. Oh, probably, probably about the one who died. But, okay, we got the kid back. Alright, okay, so here we go. And now we can start exploring a bit more. Let me just make sure where the... Oh, there we go. Okay, there's the cave. There is the cave. Okay, there's a, there's a little explanation of everything you got down there in the circle, but the game obviously doesn't explain it very well. Very cool thing about the game also is there where you drop something, it is going to stay there. Because you obviously you don't have an inventory to keep stuff. So, you throw it down, it'll stay there. That's also, also the same way that you will be stockpiling items. But we're gonna get to that. So I'm gonna go over to the sleep spot. And I'm gonna lie down. And then we're gonna go to evolution. Right. Now, here's your neuronal network progression. Okay. You're gonna unlock stuff, this stuff as your... 
as your neuron your neurons grow. Okay, that's that's the easiest way to say it. Okay, right. So let's see. We've got one over here. Um, matured neuron. Initiate motor skill. The ability to switch hands with an item is acquired. Right. So we got that. Okay, so now we're cool. Now we can start carrying more items and, and so on. And this is where the crafting is going to come in. This is where the crafting is going to come in. Alright. Um, before I carry on, I do not want to spoil the game. I really don't want to spoil the game. Um, because I'm, I'm going to be covering a lot of stuff. So, perhaps not completely finish watching my video before you start playing the game because it is going to spoil the element of having to figure out stuff for yourself. But when you get as frustrated as I was at some point, then if you really don't want to figure out anything anymore, then by all means finish watching my video. But I'm definitely going to be spoiling a few things that you would have figured out for yourself if you played long enough and died enough and brought your clan to the edge of extinction, as I did. So, okay. Quick note. Food. Different foods are gonna give you different thing, different um, aspects. Uh, not aspects, different buffs. Let's call it that. Okay, so let's inspect this thing. So you discover something new. There you go. Okay, and you can eat it. Right, and you'll see I got a little buff there. It buffs you against breaking your bones. And the more you eat of something, the higher the buff is going to be. It doesn't make it more strong, it doesn't make it stronger, it just makes it last longer, that's all. Okay, then water as well. You can inspect water. You scoop it up and inspect it, and then you'll discover a new fresh drinking spot. New food discovery. Fresh water source. So there's going to be a lot of them. I don't know if, I don't know how many different spots in this river you can do it, but yeah. Inspect everything. Okay. Here we've got something else. We can inspect that. And this is going to be a very, very useful tool, actually. Natal grass. Okay, and we can switch hands with it. So we're gonna use the left button and switch it. Now we get to altering and crafting. Okay, so if you wanna alter it, you hold your left mouse button. Okay, you see, you're gonna get to this. Then you have to hold your, you have to push or hold down your right mouse button to alter this thing. Okay, if you do it correctly, you're gonna get something out of it. If you don't, you're gonna tear the entire thing apart, it's gonna be broken. Okay. There's a little chime that you have to listen for. A small sound. Now, crafting different materials, that chime sound comes at different time intervals. Well, not different time intervals, but at different times. Sometimes you'll have to hold your button down longer, otherwise, other times not that long. So, let's break this one. Let me show you what happens if you don't do it correctly. Okay. Don't know if you noticed the little chime sound. Let me do it again. If you do it correctly, and I'm gonna laugh at myself if I fail anyway. Okay, it's in your right hand. Oh, yeah, another thing that I have to explain quickly, you basically interact with the world with your right hand. So, you won't be able to pick fruits and pick up rocks and stuff as long as you have something in your right hand. So, move it to the left hand and see, immediately there's a highlight around the fruit in this bush. Okay, so, then, now, I'll amplify the sound a bit, listen to the chime. Did you hear it? I hope you did, because it's really easy to miss. I missed it a couple of times, crafting was a nightmare to me at the beginning of the game. Okay, so, you'll see the black cloud around it again, just get the camera in there. Okay, you'll notice a little black cloud, so you have to switch hands again. Left mouse, or not left mouse button, left button on the controller. And then 
old X and we'll inspect it. Alright, now you're gonna ask me what are we gonna do with the stick? Build a fire? No, we're not gonna build a fire. I haven't even built fire in this game yet, I don't even know if you can. Okay, so I'm gonna show you where we're gonna use it. I wish I figured this out later. My clan was at the edge of extinction before I found this and how useful it can be. Okay, so there's bees here. Let's inspect that. It's honey. It's a gathering spot. Beehive. Okay. So, sometimes the bees sting you. I think it depends on how fast you approach them. But anyways, let's dip that in there. And you'll notice that we have honey on a stick. And it's really cool what this stuff is used for. See that? Looks like two fangs, because that is exactly what it is. It gives you immunity against poisonous snakes. Yes, there are poisonous snakes, and they can arrive at the most horrible times. Okay, so we have our little beehive stick. We're gonna drop that right over there. Okay, so we got that there. Okay, and we can grab this one. I'm just gonna move it so that they don't lie on top of each other. Okay, cool. Alright, it's getting a bit dark. I'm just gonna do the sleep thing quickly. You have to. You have to sleep. Because it is part of a healthy lifestyle. If you don't sleep enough, you can actually die. Your life expectancy is going to drop drastically. Okay, so let's just go through to morning. There we go. Okay, by the way, you, you control that on your own. Okay, check it out now. I obviously have a huge lack of water, so my life expectancy isn't looking very great. So we're gonna make sure we get some water. I actually messed up a bit. I should have actually went to sleep before getting all of the honey. Okay, I think we've got quite a bunch of um, water there. So, let's eat something. Life expectancy is already looking better. Okay, let's grab the stick. Oh yeah, by the way, you run by holding down A, and if you, you roll, when you release it, you're gonna jump. If you wanna cancel the jump, then you just stop moving briefly. See, running, 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 stop movement and release A. Then you won't jump all over the place. Okay, so we're gonna go out into the wild now. And I hate poisonous snakes. They are a serious pain in my ass. But... Right, so let's get some honey. want to get enough of it. Okay, there we go. Alright, so we've got some immunity against snake bites. So we're all good. And we drop it. And... Okay. I've noticed I ate a bunch of these fruits that grow in these bushes. I, I ate quite a bunch of them, like three or four. And I got um, some kind of buff or debuff or something, I'm not sure what the heck it was, but it made me all woozy. And that wasn't, that wasn't very cool. It made me all woozy and I had to drink a bunch of water to get rid of the effect. Okay, so I actually, I like eating from this tree. Okay, 
Red leaves, tree. Okay, so let's inspect that. Now this one is pretty cool because it gives you a buff against cold weather. And against bone bone breaking. So that's pretty cool as well. Okay. Alright. I picked up another one accidentally, but I'm gonna throw it down there. Okay. Just to give you an example of the stockpiling thing, if we grab another one, we stand over here, and see it's gonna it's gonna give you the option to add to pile, even though you're not facing it. So that's how you stockpile items. Okay. So that's pretty cool. So you can go out into the world and two at a time you can go pick up items like coconuts and stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna get some coconuts later. I'm gonna show you guys how to open a coconut. Yes, you guessed it, obviously with a rock. You're an ape, what do you expect? Okay, cool. I'm still not getting this life expectancy thing to be all green. I think I just need a lot more water. There we go. Yeah, water. Monkey see, monkey do. I drink water, everybody drinks water. They're here at the camp the whole time, but they'll they'll starve and die of thirst unless I show them what to do. Right, one last thing before we really get out there and explore. Let me just make sure if I have a rock. Uh, these are obsidian rocks. Not the rock I'm looking for. Okay, we're, we'll get to that. Cool. Let's get out here. Let's explore. Let me let me show you guys some stuff. Because exploring is really fun. Just going all, going ape, swinging trees, all that stuff. It is pretty cool. It's pretty exciting. I like it. Oh crap! Missed the branch. Okay. As I've said earlier, trees are grabbed automatically, but like these leaves and smaller branches, if you want to grab them, you gotta hold A on your Xbox controller. Okay, you have to hold A. Or your interaction button, or whatever you want to call it. Alright. Then, a very good tip. Oh crap. Luckily, I didn't break any bones. Okay, I actually just messed up my own tip now, but anyway, before hitting the ground completely, inspect. Inspect the area, remember to stand up, because see, then you see more things. Okay, so let's focus a bit. Okay, we already discovered that. So when you identify it this way, it's already going to show you what it is and what you can do with it. You'll notice just above the nettle grass icon, you'll see there that there's a gorilla head with a bunch of Z's for sleeping and then the stick, the stick we made to poke around in beehive. Now the sleeping thing, um, that is because the nettle grass actually forms part of a sleeping spot that you have to build and that is like the foundation of a new settlement. I haven't moved to a new settlement yet, I haven't decided on a safe new settlement in my other my other game, um, so I haven't done that yet, I haven't built one yet. So that, I believe that is a fishing spot, but we're gonna, we're gonna get to that, I'm gonna show you guys how to fish, because fish, fishing is really cool, fishing is really cool, and you also get a lot of buffs from, from fish. There's a bunch of stuff we can discover over here. Okay, right, but that was just poking or looking around. Okay, that was just poking around. Now, if you go to your hearing, you hear that? That deep hissing? That is a poisonous snake. Okay, now you'll see those circles. Those are animals. Can you see the snake yet? You see his green body laying in the grass? Okay, there is something there, and it is a snake. I know. And that one is going to be a pig. Right. Now 
I'm unfortunately not going to be able to identify that damn snake yet. Not unless he comes for me. So, see, your awareness level already went up. So let's get in here. He's still laying there. Can you see him now? Can you see him now? Should be able to. Okay, he can't reach me up here, so let's go into the intellect. There he is, and now we can actually discover him. Eastern Green Mamba. Okay, I don't know what the heck. Oh, okay, you can slightly see him laying there. Okay, there we go. Okay. Alright, so, it's a good idea to memorize this dude. There he is. Okay. Now, you can also small predators like this dude. You can intimidate them. Like, make noise and stuff. And with these poisonous snakes, they easily, they're easily intimidated. And they leave. Alright, so... That should solve that problem. Okay. You'll notice the that awareness level. Dopamine is going down. So then you have to do something enjoyable before your dopamine levels go up again. So you have to eat something, or swing around, or climb a tree, or whatever. Do something fun. Okay, so there we go. Let's eat that. And dopamine goes up. Right. Let's go on to altering some things. Some crafting. And you gotta explore. You gotta explore. It's it's scary sometimes to explore, but you gotta explore. There we go, we got some rocks over here. Let's inspect it. Not sure which rocks these are. Alright, we got a rock. Hey, granite rock. That is actually exactly what I was looking for. Okay. So. We've got the granite rock. Okay. It is in the right hand. I'm going to move it to the left hand because we're not going to use it right away. Let's see. Let's see if we can avoid heading back to base. Let's see if we can find what I'm looking for out here in the wild. We are looking for a dead branch. That damn snake is coming back again. Also, something else to keep in mind. Is... When you have certain tools in your hand, it's gonna have an effect on your intimidation level. So later on, as you craft tools like sharpened sticks and stuff, which we are going to get to in a moment, it's going to have an effect on how intimidating you actually are. So keep keep that in mind. Let's just move away from these rocks a bit and see if we can actually like identify them. Identifying things is really useful because it adds to your intelligence. Okay, and I actually saw... Okay, that is a female ape over there. Okay. Yeah, you can actually find strangers, and then you can comfort them and take them back to your camp. And that way your clan is going to grow. Alright, so... I am looking for a dead branch. There we go. Okay, a little bit of an open spot, so let's just identify a couple of things. And then go over to hearing just to make sure there's not something in the area that's going to bother us. Don't know what that is. That might be... I don't know, I'm actually a little worried about that. Okay, then you'll also have smelling. Smelling works in a little bit of a different way. That is usually for, for, that's how you identify food. Your plants. Fruits and fruits and stuff like that. You identify them by smelling. After identifying something, they will be available in your intellect HUD. If you then go into your intellect, you'll be able to see everything that you've already identified. 
Okay, so let's grab a branch. Yeah, and I'm gonna show you guys the first step of crafting a sharpened stick. Right. Now, you interact with your environment and with objects by use of your right hand. So, the stick is not gonna be able to do anything to the rock, so we gotta switch. So then, left button, switch hands. Okay, then we're gonna alter the stick by using the granite rock. So, now, once again, listen carefully for the chimes to get the timing right. Okay, there was no chime yet. I was, I was actually scared of breaking the damn thing. The sound you're looking for is it almost sounds the same as a as a as a game where you have to pick up coins and stuff. Okay, so there we go. We altered the dead branch, we can There we go. Yeah. Okay. Now we have to switch again because we have to inspect this new stick that we have here. Almost looked like a flintlock rifle or something. Okay, new tool discovered. A stick. Just a normal stick. Okay. You can use this, the stick, to flip over certain rocks, or to lift up certain rocks. Okay, but, we have a granite rock over here, and the stick. We want to create a sharpened stick for the purpose of fishing. Because fishing, so far I've seen, is the food that gives you the most, the most buffs. Not a lot of a single one, but a bunch of different buffs. Okay. So we're just gonna get out of this area. Whoa, crap. Alright. I haven't run into anything dangerous yet, except for the poison snake. When the poisonous snake bites bites you, it, it's really annoying. Because your screen gets all blurry and hazy and everything goes green. Not like everything around us isn't green already, but it becomes a lot worse. Right, so let's just focus there and remember that one again and memorize it so it'll show up on hard. And of course, the fact that it's... 10 million years ago or something. Somewhere around there. Um, you obviously don't have a very great memory. So at first you're not going to be able to remember a lot of stuff. Maybe just one item. Um, I don't think... Yeah, I can't even remember with more than one item. And my progress on my other game. But the distance that you can remember stuff from and so on. It, it, I think it improves. It gets better. So, right. Here we go. Okay, so now, we have an actual stick. There we go, right. What we want to do now, is one of these obsidian rocks. Okay, we're gonna grab one of these. It's an obsidian rock. Let's inspect it. Right, okay, there we go. Obsidian. Okay. Okay, they, you're gonna have to. I'm not gonna explain much, but you're gonna have to figure this out. You're gonna have to figure this out. Okay, so switch by pushing the left button. Then you'll go into the altering again for altering the obsidian rock with the granite one. And I hope this is gonna work. Ah, crap. Broke the obsidian rock. Okay. Switch. Let's try this again. Damn, these obsidian rocks are really, really sensitive. 
hope I'm not gonna break it. Oh crap, I hope I'm not gonna break it. There we go. Oh man. Yeah, this sucks. You have to do this a couple of times. There we go. Okay, so see, it, t it takes a lot of time, so you have to do it perfectly. And you can't wait too long after that chime. Okay, so, here we go. Let's drop the granite rock, pick up the stick, switch hands again, because we are going to be... We're going to be altering the stick with the obsidian stone. Let me just grab some sleep here quickly, because it's really getting dark. Um, let's just drop that. See if we can go lay down with our with our stick in the hand. Okay, let's just grab some quick sleep. Just to get a little bit more light in here. So you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Hippos and rhinos. Wow, that's pretty cool. Haven't seen those yet. Alright, and there we go. Okay, so the previous the previous day we actually lived a pretty healthy lifestyle. Everything was pretty much balanced. Okay, let's do this. You grab our rock, and now we're gonna alter this. Now keep in mind, you've gone through a lot of um, effort already, gathering resources and altering a stick and altering an obsidian rock and yeah. So you you don't really you don't want to mess it up now. Okay, but we still have to inspect this thing that we made. Okay, obsidian scraper. That's what we're going to use to make a sharpened stick. So, we are going to alter the stick. Pay attention to the chimes, otherwise you're going to break your stick and you're going to be really mad at yourself. There we go. Discover new alteration. Switch hands and inspect. Right. Sharpen stick. Okay. Now you're thinking this is obviously some kind of a weapon or something. That indeed it is. Crap, my hands are full. I just want to put down my um, obsidian scraper. I really don't want to lose it somewhere. I really don't want to lose it somewhere. So let's drop the obsidian scraper. Alright. Then over here... Just identify it first, my bad. There we go. And inspect. And we shall discover a new fishing spot. Right. And now I have to remember how to fish. Okay, so switch hands. There we go. Okay, so the stick is active. Right, let's fish. Ah, crap, I broke my stick. Okay, this chime... This chime is a real pain in the ass because that chime comes really early on. So, let's make another stick quickly. Oh crap, I think that means I'm freezing. That's not cool. Alright, so, let's switch hands. Make another one quickly. Okay, here we go. Right, we'll drop that. Pick up that. 
Alright, okay, so there we go. We've got a new sharpened stick. The game takes time, so don't rush it, and don't get all negative if you cannot succeed the first time. Right, so... Here, we have to focus. Otherwise, we're gonna be messing it up again. And there we go. Discovered spear fishing. What the hell is that thing? I found a shrimp or something. That's cool. I haven't found that yet. No, don't. Dude. New food discovered. Oh, okay. Crayfish. Cool. Okay, now we have to. In order to get your food off the stick, you have to alter the stick with your bare hands. Okay, so we're gonna switch hands again. We are gonna alter the stick. There we go. Okay. Alright. And. We're going to eat it. And we're gonna see what. Oh crap. Okay, see, there we got a stomach problem. Okay, so I don't know what that does. I'm not sure, but I'm not eating the rest of that thing because it's killing me. Okay, so let's just drink some water to get rid of this. Not, still not sure what that is, and here everybody comes to drink water. Aren't I the greatest leader ever? Okay, so we got rid of that. Give me my stick back. Let's see if we can grab a fish. Not a damn crayfish. Come on. Dude. Really now. I got a fish, man. You cannot tell me that I can fish here only once. Come on, man. It's like a gathering spot. There cannot be only one damn fish. You gotta be kidding me. Inspect. Are you inspecting the stick again? You gotta be kidding me. I cannot believe this. Come on. Yeah. Identify, memorize. Is there only like one fish in here? Okay, I'm guessing so. Okay, never mind, but I'm gonna show you guys another fishing spot then. Screw that place. There's another fishing spot down here. Just gotta find it. Oh crap. Sorry, I don't know what's with the what's with the strange whiteness on the screen. There's another fishing spot down here somewhere, so I just gotta remember where it is. We'll find it. We'll find it. Ah, there we go. This should be it, I think. Let's just make sure. Oh, come on. Okay, so fishing spot. Okay, there we go, and poke. Another crayfish? Come on, man. I want a normal fish. Not a crayfish. Crayfish give me a stomach problem. There we go, finally. We've got a fish. All right, so let's inspect it. He's looking at the stick. But anyways, he's he's got the fish. 
Right, we got a bass. Awesome. Okay, cool. Let's just go over here to some berries as well. Looks like I'm gonna have to be doing a lot of eating. Life expectancy is down. Okay, so we switch hands, we alter the stick, and we got the fish. There we go. And let's eat it. Right. Oh, come on. Well. That didn't go according to plan. I'm not exactly sure why that happens. Maybe I'm eating too much of the wrong stuff. But anyways, the one time that I did catch a fish and I ate it, it gave me like three buffs. One against spider venom. Ah, not spider venom. Uh, one was against snake venom, one was against breaking bones, and the other one I think was against cold weather or something. I'm, I'm not sure. I can't really remember everything. It was, it was my other game. But anyways, now at least you know how to fish, and you know how to take care of yourself. Do not let this discourage you from not fishing. Fishing is a good thing. I am just still to figure out why the hell that happens, and the fish didn't give me the buffs that I wanted. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my stick. I'm gonna get some more food. Get my life expectancy up. And I'm going to head back to my settlement. And then, in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to take over new territory, or how to identify new territory, overcome the fear of the unknown, and explore a bit. You know, move out. Head outside. And go, go check out things outside of this area. The next area to explore would be the swamp, which brings a couple of new things, including a new enemy. You can just imagine. Alright, so thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. I hope it saves you some time in the game and makes it more enjoyable. And now how frustrating it can be if you struggle with the game and you actually want to just give up and then you lose out a lot on the excitement the game has to offer. So, thanks for watching guys, I will see you in the next episode. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, drop some comments if you have anything to say about it. If you have any tips for me, if you've maybe played the game a bit more than I have, and you got some tips for me, please share those. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well, and I will see you guys next time. Cheers.